What's up, Capricorn? It's your girl Jupiter here with a bonus for you guys. Because you guys, <clears throat> you give me the most watch time right now. You guys are on. <laughs> I'm like, Capricorn is on. Y'all just finished up your birthday. Y'all riding the waves, feeling like the kings, the king of pinnacle, the, pit, the kings of money, <laughs> kings and queens of money. <laughs> Y'all doing your thing, that's what's up. <clears throat> so yes, I just wanted to come in and bring a quick uh, reading for you guys. Right before I started the video, I started to choke. <laughs> Yes, like I don't even know. I think it was a cough that turned into a gag and then I was full blown choking. Like <laughs> probably because I try to drink something. But <clears throat> if I keep clearing my throat in the video, then <laughs> that's why. I'm good though. Jupe's good, okay? Thank God. <clears throat> so you guys that are new here with me, I use Pandora ran Radio, randomly selected songs to help me deliver the messages intuitively. So the first song is by The Dream called Summer Body. So that sounds like somebody could be working on a summer body. <laughs> you got body, bitch. Yes, honey. Yes. <laughs> Work it, honey. Yes. So, yes, that's what's up. Uh, somebody keeping them, them New Year resolutions in there. Making sure they, they hit the gym, they go jog, they eat good, whatever it is. Whatever, whatever you're trying to do to get that summer body, you doing it. And that's what's up. Because we got a whole song for that shit. <laughs> Somebody's energy is coming in like, yes, bitch, I'm in there. What's up? I'm going to be looking good as shit. So let's get into this. You guys know the energy is very interchangeable. So please take what resonates, leave the rest, leave it all. Use for entertainment purposes. Live your life. <clears throat> all right. Step right in. All right, you guys. So. In the midst of somebody getting that summer body together, um, there's this energy. Let me turn this down a little bit. Oh, you guys, with the three of spades, there's this energy of somebody not having the strength to face their problems. Um, this is causing an upset with them you see this could be your energy capricorn this could be someone that you're dealing with but um there's this there's this hypocrite energy of somebody wanting something but not giving the energy to obtain it um this person is procrastinating they're taking their time they're ignoring the the facts of life and shit. This person is ignoring the solution to be able to solve this problem. Or they're ignoring you. Or they're ignoring the, the call for them to gain their strength. Um, with the four, somebody's feeling abandoned. So, Capricorn, you guys could be feeling abandoned from this three of spades energy. This person who was careless with your feelings, careless with their own feelings, <clears throat> having problem, having trouble facing their problems, not wanting to own up to their mistakes. You could have abandoned that energy, or this person could have abandoned you. You <clears throat> you begin to put things in perspective. You begin to see things for what they really were. You start to <clears throat> you start to question yourself. You by by questioning yourself, you start to find solutions to the problem that someone else couldn't find the solutions to. 
because you were dealing with or somebody i don't know this energy of someone being careless of this uh this connection that they have with you or careless of a relationship <clears throat> or something this person was immature as fuck they could have been a young person if not they they definitely act were acting like a immature younger person um they caused the ending that they're now suffering and being in pain about. It caused you pain too, <clears throat> but this person is, they're having to actually live with their pain because they know they had hidden intentions towards you. Um, their intentions weren't clear to you and they could have been hidden or this person could have been hiding, purposely hiding their intentions towards you. <clears throat> whatever when this person abandoned you or you abandoned this person there was this huge awakening there was this huge revelation of the type of person that they were to you and also the type of person that they were acknowledging for themselves like damn i did that like i know i did because i remember when i fucking did it so this person can't they're they're faced to deal with this lower energy, this lower vibration of themselves, they're faced to deal with this problem and they're they're trying they're trying to ignore it, although they know deep inside <clears throat> they have this problem. They sabotage the, the energy love that comes into them, or this person just knows that they need to grow up and they're in this lower, young, immature mind frame of <clears throat> wanting to have something with you wanting to express this love with you but coming to the conclusion that they're not ready or they not that they're not ready because the person isn't it's not really an option for the person this person feels like it's not really an option to come to you capricorn or you to them because of the state that they're in because of how they are I think you have tried to you have tried to kind of you couldn't see you couldn't see the outcome of something. So it's like you kind of stuck around to see the op, the outcome. You you're kind of sticking around with this energy around you so you could see the outcome. Maybe from the person being weak and or maybe you were showing a lot of weakness by not letting it go or procrastinating to let it go but either way there's there's this energy of someone trying to hold on to seeing something come to its end or seeing something come to its beginning with a certain person like okay is this person going to come to me and say this to me or are they going to come and apologize to me or are they going to make it up to me are they going to say sorry? Like, what are, is this person going to do any fucking thing? And I don't know if that's your energy, Capricorn, of staying in that and, and thinking, like, you know, is it going to happen? Like, what's going on? Like, although you've left the situation, you took a risk, you left the situation, it caused a lot of pain for you and this person. But your pain was more on the short side compared to what the, the pain that this person is going through because of it. And I say that, and y'all, and some of y'all might be like, fuck that, I was dealing with this shit for 10, 15 years. But either way, it's like you were able to, you, you, you knew more to get yourself out of this situation quicker than this person does, if you, if you understand what I'm saying. So, maybe, maybe because you dealt with it so many times, that this final time, you able to pull yourself out of the, that, that energy. Like you, you took the risk to, to live without them and you either have a new love coming to you because of that or you have this person trying to offer you a new situation. But if it's this old person trying to offer you this love, it's like you can't, you have to move slow. You can't, you can't trust it. I'm sorry. Like, I'm like, I hate to say it, but you can't trust this person coming back to give you this love. 
because they showed up as a as a jack in the past so they should have showed up as a king in the future they may feel like they have this new offer of love to offer you because they're this new person but you will have to use discernment to see that you will have to take your time to see that you might have to take a risk to walk the fuck out of this person's life again or maybe you have to take the risk to not go back to it because you you can see clearly that this person hasn't made the the growth that they they literally haven't made the growth they're just kind of coming back around they could have came off as this oh i love you i want to be in love with you i want to make babies i want to do this i want to do that i want to live together da, da, da. like all of these i want to i want to want to i want to do this i want to do that i want to but no action no action the person could be feeling like they're ready to put the action in now but it's like i need a king <laughs> Like, I forgot I need a king to pop up. I don't need the immature, I don't know, I haven't learned because I haven't went through enough shit type of energy because I'm not going to ride that ride with you, bruh. I'm not. And this is how Capricorn, I feel like you're feeling. Um, Something new by Wiz Khalifa. I'm getting a whole new selection of music now. Sorry, guys. Okay. <clears throat> so come give me something new. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about so because the song wants me to say. The messages from the song wants me to say and correlate this together. So, because I want to say, I mean, of course, like, y'all, I, I mean, I'm going to say don't trust it because that's what the energy is. But y'all have to look at it that way so you can take the, the appropriate amount of time that it would take for you to understand. You could but you could have been waiting for this person to come back in and then you want to move just as fast and jump into it and then go into all this love, but... You got to remember where you came from and know where you going. Don't forget that shit. You got to know you came from somebody not expressing this and that and this. So, so to know where you about to go now, what you going to deal with in the future is not that shit. Make sure that's checked off on the checklist before you move into all this love that this person could be talking about having with you. Because... They could, it just could be another smoke and a mirror effect, or this could be that, that middle cycle of a soulmate cycle or some type of karmic something to where you got to complete, you got to hit these cycles on the motherfucker. Like, oh, we got to do this shit again because a motherfucker forgot to, to fucking cross their T and dot their eye up. Oh, we got to do it again because they forgot to say sorry up. Oh. So it's like, trying to make sure you learn what you need to learn before the cycle before it like before that window closes it's like this window that goes in a circle or you, it's a circle or something that goes around a window and you gotta find the hole that goes directly to the circle at the right moment at the right time and jump through that bitch type of shit it's like you can fuck around and miss it by just looking in another direction, thinking that there was an extra hole or a circle to jump through type of deal. Like, okay, well, I ain't, I ain't catch that one, but I'm going to catch the next one. That's the only one. There is no next one. That's the only one. So you got to wait for that fucking hole in the wall to come back around to match the window where you can jump up out of that shit as quickly as you can. There can't be no... Oh, I'm going to hold on to this old energy and be stuck on what this person did to me in the past. And I'm, I want to make them pay for it. So when they come back talking all this love shit, I'm going to be like, ha! I knew you was going to come back and I don't want your punk ass. Because it's like, no, no, no. Don't waste your time doing that. You you see them for who they are and you know that and you, and you move on so they can learn their lesson. Because once you jump out of that hole, out of out of that window, out of that slither of, in that slither of a second that you got, this person won't be. They may not be able to fit through the same hole at the same fucking time. They may literally have to wait for. A matter of fact, they will have to wait for this circle in the hole to meet the window in the circle in the hole. <laughs> 
they will have to wait for that shit to come back around. Because it's like only one person can get through a type of deal. So with the song, Come Give Me Something New, maybe this person is coming to offer you something new, but you will have to take the time and use the correct tools to be able to decipher if this shit is right for you or not. Because they could have made the changes. They could have taken risks to make changes as well. I just feel like a king should be sitting up here to show that more enlightened energy. Even if there was one jack on the board, I'd be looking like, okay. But with two, it's like there's this sense of this person not growing and not and nothing changing. So, I don't know. Y'all have to let me know. Um, because the situation does want to be fixed and you're being asked, you're being told to basically see the brighter side of, of things like, because there's, there's better days coming. There is something good coming. There is something that is worthy of your time coming, but you have to be able to accept the energy for what it is and not what you want it to be. And maybe that's for that person too. Like, I don't know. But yeah, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Thanks you again, Capricorn. Thank you for everything. Your watch time is adorable. It is. I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.